Brazil are favourites to win the 2022 FIFA World Cup. To be fair, there are only a handful of World Cup tournaments when this statement has not held true. They are the most successful nation in World Cup history for a reason. But then, why do we say Brazil are going to win the 2022 World Cup in Qatar? It's all written in the stars. You just have to look. First of all, they are currently the best national team in the world, according to the latest FIFA rankings. And even according to squad depth, you have to say that there are only a handful of nations anywhere near as good as them. I mean, which other national team can boast of having the options of two multiple Premier League Golden Glove winners? And the attack, come on! They have three of the most informed attackers in the world right now. There's Vinicius Jr, who's just won the Champions League with Real Madrid, Neymar Jr, who's currently leading the goal-scoring chart in French Ligue 1, and Gabriel Jesus, who has been doing exploits since he joined Arsenal in the summer. In reserves, they still have the 100 million euro man Anthony, new Barcelona boy Rafinha, Real Madrid clutch prodigy Rodrigo, Spurs scrapper Richarlison, and of course, the experienced hand Bobby Firmino all of whom play for the biggest clubs in England and Spain. Their defence is not lacking either, with the likes of Thiago Silva, Marquinhos, Eden Militao, Danilo, Alex Tellez and Gleison Bremer, who are all very important players for massive clubs across Europe's top five leagues. In midfield, they have Casemiro, Fabinho, Fred, Coutinho, Bruno Guimaraes, Lucas Paqueta, who are all doing their business in the English top flight. And those are just the big names. Of course, there are other youngsters who will still burst into the limelight during the tournament. Speaking of the tournament, you look at the group Brazil were drawn into and you just know that they're going to cruise through to the knockouts. They're in a group with Serbia, Switzerland and Cameroon and you just expect them to not only top the group but perhaps not even lose a single game on their way to the round of 16. Mind you, Brazil are currently far better than they were four years ago. So, if they could make it as far as the quarter-final, despite being not so good in 2018, how much further then do you think they will go now that they are in blazing form? And to be honest, they should have gone even further four years ago if not for the stupid suspension rule that ruled Casemiro out of the quarter-final clash against Belgium. FIFA's rule is that any player who picks up two yellow cards in his first five games of the tournament gets suspended. So Casemiro had to watch from the sidelines as his aging replacement Fernandinho put the ball in the back of his own net to give the Europeans the lead on the night. It makes you think, if there wasn't any such rule, that Brazil side, which is not as strong as the current one by the way, would probably have made it to the semis at least. Now, bring your minds back to 2022 and just picture how much better this far stronger side will do in the upcoming tournament. But of course, we know it's not all about form and talent in the squad. Sometimes you need that extra bit of experience and tradition. And which team has that more than Brazil? They are the best team in World Cup history, having won it more times than anyone else. If we break it down even further, they still remain the best team ever. They have won 73 out of the 109 World Cup matches they have played, losing only 18 games and boasting 124 goal difference in the process. They have the culture of winning at the World Cup and they have experienced players who know how to win in the squad. They have played on the biggest stages and conquered and now they're hoping to complete their illustrious careers with a World Cup medal. But hey, we didn't make this video to say that Brazil will just walk to their sixth World Cup title. There are actually teams who will make it very difficult for them. France are probably at the top of that list, they are one of the favourites, being the defending champions and having an insane depth of squad as well. But then, they could very well fall to the World Cup winner's curse, which the last three winners have fallen to, so that's already advantage Brazil over them. The likes of Belgium, Portugal and England have really good squads, but they've proven that they don't have that winning culture, they always fail in the most important stages. So when it gets down to business, you get the feeling that Brazil will be the ones with the right mix of talent, experience and character to go through. Argentina will perhaps be Brazil's biggest blockade. They have a really solid team and they look like they've forgotten what it feels like to lose. And let's not forget, they still have Lionel Messi who has been doing exploits at PSG this season. 
but Brazil have a score to settle after losing the 2021 Copa America to their rivals. So if they meet again, Brazil would be eager to get their revenge. Finally, Brazil are known to win the World Cup in almost every decade. They won it in the 50s, 60s, 70s, 90s and 2000s. They have not gone more than two straight decades without winning the World Cup, so it might just be their time again after they failed to win it at all in the 2010s. But what do you think though? Who do you think will go on to win the 2022 World Cup in Qatar? Do you also favour Brazil? Share your predictions with us in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also turn on the bell notification so you never miss out on new content and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.